Hello everyone. From this video, we will start from the Scratch project. I will show how we can connect one real controller, how we can set up the TwinKai 3 project, and how we can add the TwinSafe EL6900 or EX6910 controller in the project. To connect the back of actual controller, for example, CX2000 or CX5000 controller, Basically, we would have uh, two ways. Uh, by default, the IP address of this controller that will be set uh, dynamic or automatic. If you try to connect uh, use uh, the Ethernet cable to connect this uh, controller, you could also set the IP address of your laptop to automatic IP address. And then use the right corner added routers to connect this uh, controller. Another way, you can follow your electrical drawings and set a fixed IP to this controller. Basically, you could connect one screen to this uh, CX2000 or 5000 controller, log in the Windows system of this uh, controller, and set the IP address to this uh, system. And after that, set the same IP arrange segment to your laptop IP address, connect that. And the following way, I will show the second way. So my actual controller, that IP address, that is 192.168.1.10. And I will try to connect this controller. I go to the right corner and go to the router, edit the routers. And from here, click the add, right corner broadcast search. And it find this controller 192.168.1.10 and after we select this IP address and the right side we select all static and after that click this uh, add router and keep in mind and check this uh, security ADS the default password that is a one user that is a uh, administrator and once it's connect this controller this connected shows across which means our laptop already connected with this uh, controller if we click this uh, controller here currently it is local once we select this controller and currently it shows we are connecting with this controller. After this, we can compile the system and try to download the hardware. Meantime, we can see the bottom. There's one green square and there's a yellow gear running inside, which means currently our software is connecting with uh, this real controller now. If we hit the active configuration, the software will download the hardware configuration to the controller. This is a process how we can connect this uh, real controller. All right, let's start from the scratch and let's start to create one project using the TwinCast 3. So we right click, click this run as an administrator We click the file, new, project. So I named the project name TwinCat Safety Demo under this folder. Select this uh, TwinCat XAE project. Click the OK. Keep in mind here that is a TwinCat projects. We firstly set up one TwinKite project. Okay, so we just set up the one project structure. So after this, we click the PLC. And from here, click this uh, add new item. 
we firstly set up one standard PLC because usually the safety controller EL6900, this controller won't be running standalone. It will come together with one PLC controller, for example, CX9020 or CX5000 controller. So that's why firstly, uh, I would set up this uh, PLC standard project first. So that is a PLC. We could name this uh, standard PLC. Click this uh, standard PLC project. And keep in mind here, when you set up the PLC project, keep in mind, just uh, double check and uh, verify if this PLC project is the same directory with the whole project because some special case after you set up this project structure and you start it to other things and after you turn it back you try to create this PLC project and maybe that time the location directory already changed and if you didn't check this that means maybe your project is staying in one directory and your PLC project is standing in another directory. So it's really mess. When you try to archive your project or try to copy your project, you will lost some information with unknown. From here, let's click the add. Okay. After we set up this PLC project, we can come here and uh, insert the safety, add a new item. And firstly, double check this directory that is under the TwinCat safety demo, this project. So I will rename this. This is the safety controller. And I will select this TwinCat safety project pre configured error acknowledge. Click add. So from here, there's one selection. Keep in mind, we need to select this hardware safety PLC. Once you select this TwinCat safety PLC, it will switch the programming language to C. But in industry area, we will prefer to program to use the ladder logic or FBD logic. That means we prefer to use a graphic editor to program the control logic. So you can see if you select this TwinCat safety PLC, it forces you to select this safety C. It's a nightmare, right? So we will switch back to the hardware safety PLC. That is the default. And this is the hardware safety PLC and the programming language that is a graph editor. Uh, in TwinSafe system, the main programming language for the safety logic that is the FBD. There's no ladder logic for the safety programming language. This is not the same like uh, Alan Brownlee and Siemens. Siemens and Alan Brownlee, they can use the FBD and the ladder logic. Most of people prefer using ladder logic to program the safety logic. But for the TwinSafe, programming environment, it only has a IBD programming language to be used. And from here, you can write the author name and the internal project name. Click OK. OK, it named the safety control. It also created one safety group here. OK, from this point, uh, let's hit this uh, save all. After we create a PLC and a safety control sub project, and we can start to add the I/O devices. To add the I/O devices, basically we would have two ways. One way is connect to a real controller and use a scan function to scan all the actual devices. Another way is manually add the devices one by one. If you already connected to a one actual controller. Uh, this is highly recommend because uh, programming and adding that cards are really complex and takes time. So for myself, I will prefer to connect one controller and use the scan function to scan all the cards 
they are already connected with uh, the controller. And keep in mind, before we click the scan, we must uh, confirm our system is uh, connecting with uh, one actual controller. And this area, we must uh, select the actual controller rather than selecting the local. The following field will show the process of the scan in configuration mode. Under the configuration mode, scan the box. We click the cancel because we won't set up the motion control. So now the system will ask you the active free run. So we click the yes. So currently the system in a free run, the system is still in a configuration mode. And under this mode, we can check out the module status and the module signals. For example, this is an analog card inside this system, and we can change the analog signal. We can see actually the system already connected with this uh, signal channel. If you are not sure what the current status of your controller, you could go to the TwinCat and, and click this Restart TwinCat in Config mode. That is for this video. In this video, I show how we can connect one real controller using the edit rotor to connect as one actual controller. And after that, we create one project. And based on this project structure, we add the PLC project as well as the safety controller project. And in next video, I will show how we can manually add the hardware configuration and how we can config the properties of the safety hardware. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.